Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Is, is Terrence Crawford feeling guilty about the demolition that he put on Earl Spence? Because I'm going to tell you this right now, man. That's, that's my question. Is Terrence Crawford feeling guilty about getting in the ring with Earl Spence and beating Earl Spence down the way he did. Because from what I'm gathering, when I when I listen to Terrence Crawford and the more I learn about him and his relationship with Earl Spence and the fact that these guys are talking and how, Earl, how Terrence Crawford is so appreciative of Earl Spence giving him the opportunity, the more I feel like Terrence Crawford is like, you know what, man? I'm glad for the opportunity. I'm glad to be in the position I'm in. I'm glad to have gotten the win over Earl Spence, but man, I'd, I almost if he could undo it all and to have gotten in the ring with a different opponent, I just feel that that's how Terrence Crawford deep down feels inside. Like, I beat down and demolished a good person. I wish it could have been somebody else, especially when he sits back and he, he's looking at, now this is just my opinion, right? And he's looking at everything now. I'm not talking about the time he fought him, but he, in the position he's in now. And what he's looking at, damn, I got in the ring with this guy. And I don't care what anyone says. I truly believe Terrence Crawford, deep down, when he's sitting there and he's talking to his close, trusted friends and family, the shit that he would never tell a, a, a person with a microphone and a camera, right? I believe deep down he's like, damn, I really got in the ring with this guy who's endured all this trauma. And when he got in the ring with me, he obviously still had stuff going on. And yeah, it's not my fault, you know, that he still had this stuff going on with him physically. But like, I, I could have killed him. You know what I'm saying? Because Terrence Crawford, man, he he didn't he 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 pulled back. I don't know if y'all paid attention. He eased up in that fight. He eased up because I think he realized it was so one-sided, so easy, and he was beating him so bad that I even think I think even Terrence Crawford said, "Hold on, I'm gonna end up killing him." And it's almost like just just quit. But he knew Earl Spence wasn't going to quit. And then he said, you know what? I, I, I got to do what I got to do. And the referee needs to get involved here. So if Earl Spence isn't going to quit, I'm going to make the referee stop this fight. Uh, because Earl Spence wasn't going to quit. But I know, I, you, I just really believe Terrence Crawford cares a whole lot about Earl Spence. And I think he does sit back and say, and he's saying to himself, shit, man, I could have killed this guy. And... And to see that Earl Spence hasn't, you know, hasn't returned back to the boxing ring, and then with legitimate medical, you know, concerns um, and things that Earl Spence is trying to work through, I, I, I know that Terrence Crawford is like, I don't, I don't think he's gonna want to get in the ring with anyone else, no matter what they bring to the table, if there's someone who's been through the trauma, like someone like Earl Spence, no matter how good they've looked against other opponents, I just think Terrence Crawford would pass on that opportunity. I just really do. And you can say, well, it's because he has money now. He's two-time undisputed. His legacy is was already cemented, but now it's you know, firmly cemented. Uh, Terrence Crawford isn't going to, he doesn't have to do that. But no, I, I think it goes, it's more than that. I think it's way more than that. Terrence Crawford is a father. Terrence Crawford has kids. He loves his kids. Uh, he knows Earl Spence is a father. He loves his kids. Um, if they're both family first. And I just don't think Terrence Crawford wants to be sitting there at Earl, at any boxer's bedside uh, and, and sitting there trying to have a conversation with him when they're, they're incoherent and on their deathbed as a result of damage that, you know, he, he contributed on top of the trauma that they had already sustained. And I really think when you watch Earl Spence, I, I just think, that's, that fight with Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, that shit was one round, maybe two rounds away from Earl Spence getting killed. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. It's just like if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury had, a, if those fights were 15 rounds, I think Tyson Fury would have killed Deontay Wilder. Especially if the referee wasn't going to stop because Wilder wasn't going to stop. He would have kept getting up and kept getting bludgeoned, kept getting demolished. But that being said, man, I, I think Terrence Crawford cares about him. That's why it, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's, it's just people come out here and they make fun of this shit. You know, like ah, Earl Spence knew what he was getting into. He's a bum. He's a this. He's a that. That shit is that. Some of that shit is entertaining. And some of the comments can be funny, but when you really strip away all the, the, the buffoonery, there's some serious shit going on here, man. Like, these guys, 30 years down the road, if they're fortunate to live that long and, and have all their faculties intact, they'll be sitting there talking about their fight and being open about, you know, and Terrence Crawford will, will open up probably then and talk about the concerns he had following the fight once he realized that, damn, maybe Earl Spence wasn't really a 100% when I fought him. And it doesn't take anything away from Terrence Crawford's performance, but I just think for Terrence Crawford, he's going to sit there and say he's probably glad that that fight, the referee did stop the fight because it, we, we may be sitting here having this conversation and Earl Spence not be here. But that being said, in my opinion, Terrence Crawford, I think he cares a lot about Earl Spence. I don't think he wants anything to happen to him. That's why in that ring, I don't know which round it was after, after Terrence Crawford beat Earl, he knocked him down when he was walking back. He he touched, he took his glove and he he touched Earl Spence with it on the way back to his corner. That's that's one of those, hey, you good, man? You know, I'm sure we, we, we've done that. I had a friend, somebody who doesn't really look right, and you come and you're like, yo, you good, you all right? You could tell when something isn't right with a person. And Crawford immediately picked up on that shit in the ring. He won't say, but I'm sure he was thinking, like, I know I'm bad. I know I'm a great fighter. But what the fuck is wrong with, with Earl Spence? I'm sure he was thinking that, like, God damn. He, 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 his power that he's had in fights with other fighters is gone. Uh, he can't get out of the way of my shots. I'm seeing everything he's throwing. He's super slow. I, I'm sure. And, you know, Bo Mack was super excited, but I'm sure Terrence Crawford, when no one's around and he's sitting back, and even if he, watch, if he watches that fight, I'm sure he's telling, him, saying to himself, something, ain't seem, something don't seem right here. And I'm going to say that same shit. You know, some, something just didn't seem right. Don't get me wrong. Terrence Crawford deserves all the credit in the world. But I think even Terrence Crawford realizes that – there's so much more to to that fight. Uh, and he may never get the answers on it because Earl Spence seemed to be the kind of guy to, to want to talk too much to make excuses. But if he had to get surgery, he had to get surgery. Uh, but that being said, y'all keep cool shout out to the veterans all set of continents. I like the relationship these guys formed. And I'm glad that they genuinely give a shit about each other and want the best for each other because they truly made history. And I would say they changed each other's life, right? in the breeze.